Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to show you how to fix a dishwasher that is rocking forward because the brackets have come loose. So the situation here is that the dishwasher is not secured in place. It's rocking forward. And the main reason here is that these brackets have come undone. Uh, this counter is particle board underneath so you can see the screws have just ripped out and both of these brackets are free this one was even hitting the top part of the dishwasher right there and scratching it up um, so what we're going to focus on in this video is just filling in these holes to get this wood solid again and then we will put some new screws in you can even see where somebody added a new third hole because the two original holes they had ripped out the particle board. Another solution to this problem would be to attach this dishwasher to the side of the cabinets here by removing this cap and installing those brackets but in this situation we're just going to fix these holes where this particle board has ripped apart and put some new screws in. So what we're going to use to solidify those holes in the particle board is some golf tees and some wood glue. First I'm going to bend these brackets down so I can get to the holes in the particle board. So what we're going to use is some golf tees. So I'm going to dip this golf tee into this wood glue. Then I'm going to put this up into these holes in the particle board. But you could use toothpicks for this. You could use uh, little dowels. But I'm just going to use these little golf tees and then we'll break them off and we'll let that set in there. So here I'm just gonna stick that T up into that hole where the screw ripped out, and then we'll tap it with a hammer to get it up in there as far as it'll go. Then I'm just snipping off the excess T with some side cutters. Then we'll just tap it again with the hammer to make sure it's all the way up in there. So again, I got a bunch of glue on the T. Just gonna stick it up in that hole. So then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the stripped out screw holes on the other side. So then I'm just going to use my finger or you could use a putty knife and just kind of spread some glue all around that spot where you put the golf tee and that'll kind of seal that in there and when it dries it'll set and make a hard surface where you can put in a new screw. All right, so it's been a few hours. We're going to go ahead and bend these brackets back up and put this, uh, some screws in. This time I'm going to put some slightly longer screws into this. Uh, now it's been a few hours. This glue says it takes a half hour to dry, but it doesn't truly set for 24 hours um, But it's been a few hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw these back in now This should hold for a long time But if for some reason people are yanking on this handle and these screws get ripped out again I think my next step would be to use an epoxy But I try to start off doing it with products that I think people are likely to have around the house But I'll put a link to some epoxy as well as this wood glue under the video if you want to check it out. Now I'm going to bend these brackets back up into place and then the temptation is just to grab a drill and throw these screws back up in here but I'm going to do the smart thing and use a screwdriver and take it nice and slow and steady. That way I won't overdo it and end up stripping out these screw holes again. Uh, you can just stop once you feel those screws getting nice and snug. So these screws were just free spinning and some loose holes before and now these are in here really snug as you can see this is in here good and firm so that ain't going anywhere 
So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please hit the like button for me and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.